So, tell us a little about yourself. Where did you grow up and all that? Well, I grew up on Hood Canal. My grandparents established Potlatch State Park out there. Um, well, they established Minerva Beach, which is right next to Potlatch State Park. Um, and then I went to school in Shelton. I graduated from Shelton High School, go climbers. And um, I'm big into swimming and diving. Um, and I was swam since I was five on a team and you know, graduated swimming. So that was All right, what made you want to teach here and why? Teach here at Black, at Black Hills? Hills. Um, well, first of all, Black Hills is awesome. Um, I wanted to teach here um, because I felt prompted to come here. Um, I was at uh, Tumwater Middle School running the behavior program there and uh, wanted to come up here and do that. And then uh, it was running fine and doing great and the kids were doing fine and there was a need to come over to Life Skills and so the district kind of put me over here with Life Skills. but. Um, it's helped me grow a lot, and I really enjoy this group of kids too, so I feel pretty blessed to have come here. Okay. What was your job before teaching here? Um, I ran the behavior program at Tumwater Middle School, and before that I was the um, assistant director for international programs at St. Martin's. So we've heard around that you're in the you were in the military. What branch? Um, I was in the Marine Corps. And I served, um, I did my training at Camp Johnson on the East Coast and Camp Lejeune. And then I was stationed in Okinawa for a year. And then I went back to Lejeune and then I came home. Uh, what was your role in the military? Um, I was a diesel mechanic and a truck driver. And so um, I had two MOSs which are your military occupation specialties. And so um, I graduated top 10 from diesel mechanics, so they sent me to advanced mechanic school. So it was me and nine other guys, which I thought was super cool. Um, just to, you know, be a female and, and working on trucks. It was fun. It was really fun. And how long were you in the military? Um, I was in for three and a half years. Um, and then I was um, medically retired, and so now I'm a teacher. Hi, what brought you to special ed at Black Hills? Um, I first got my teaching degree um, and was an English teacher, and so I taught reading all the way to AP English in middle school. And um, I went back to school to get my master's degree and I was working at St. Martin's University at the time and I was working with international students and I thought um, oh I really want to help English language learners in the, within the education system so I'm going to get my master's degree in that and I started working on that but I was also substitute teaching and I was getting yelled at a lot with, from behavior kids and um, I just, it dawned on me one day as a fourth grader was yelling the F word at me and I was cracking up but then feeling really sad that he was in that place that I thought, I am not getting the right master's degree. So I switched from English language learners to special education and as I went through that program, I realized that the kids with behaviors were kind of my thing, like my niche. So that's how I ended up here. And what is your legacy you plan to leave, and how could we help with the special needs children? So I don't really think about legacy, but I try every day to get up and come and be here and be positive and hopeful. High school's hard enough, and so I try to be approachable to all the students here because um, you guys are amazing, and this is where you learn how to be people and you learn how to fail and you learn how to be successful and so I just hope that I can be someone that people will think positively about and feel comfortable and safe coming to you know if they're struggling. The special needs program if people would come and visit and feel more comfortable and approach
kids in a positive way and try to think of ways to include kids. Um, they benefit so much from friends and from, you know, I have kids in leadership and they're doing awesome. And so just lots of ways to incorporate kids who maybe don't have experiences like other kids so that they can do that.